Hey guys, it's your boy. We're back with more Mall Fujifilm content, and today taking a look at Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes. Finally, he looks awesome actually with this uniform. Although I still feel that the old look was, well, yeah, it looks better. <laughs> so let's check it out uh, how he does in squad battle. And I'm only showing the squad battle showcase right now because that is the most important part for him. He's not a world boss legend uh, meta. I don't think so. I will be doing a human torch comparison in a bit in a different video. But this is going to be squad battle because this is where he shines really. He's very good in squad battle and possibly I do think that he's meta, of course. Anyways, let's take a look at the stats first and this is with his own leadership, 50% of ignore dodge. So it's a solo stats, we got uh, basically everything maxed out apart from the critical rate. Critical rate should be maxed out ideally because, uh, well, you don't really have to max out critical rate ideally. Uh, you can get the 30% critical rate boost and some attack speed from the 5th skill actually and that is the most damage dealing skill anyways. So we have 52% critical rate, other than that everything is maxed out. We got no one's blessing, just the normal energy attack gurus. Just five, uh, four of them actually, five of them, sorry. And then we have critical damage rolled for the last gear. All skills level six. We will talk about the rotation in a bit. The universal type enhancement rank three. We have an overdrive stage 12 set. No artifact yet. And then we have a CTP of judgment, a normal one, not a mighty. With 20% all attack, 17.2 chain hit, which is a nice chain hit. And 200% proc on this thing. The uniform is still legendary because, uh, well, I needed some uniform kits and I don't really have them. So I can't really get it. Uniform options are going to be Black Dwarf, Dark Obsidian Armor, we got Magneto, House of X, Moon Knight, Mr. Knight uniform, Loki TVA suit as well as this Thena uniform. So I think Robbie Rays among all of these characters, new ones, is has the best uniform options of all of them and all of these uniform options have been amazing or meta at some point. So I'm very happy that Robbie actually got some amazing uniform options. For uh, the cards, we'll go to the cards in a bit but first of all, the issue with Robbie Rays and then of course the good part about Robbie Rays. Issue is that the fourth skill is uh, the fourth skill is not cancelable, the fifth skill is not cancelable, the second or first skill is not cancelable. The only cancelable skill that he has is the third skill which is delayed cancel, not instant, and you can instant cancel the transcend skill. Other than that, all the skills needs to run fully and the fourth skill runs for a long time, the fifth skill runs for a long time, so there is not a lot of time left that you can just take advantage of. That's why I do feel that it kind of sucks and it does uh, make him do a lot, more, a lot less damage than what he could have already. So, the rotation that I found and actually is working very very good for me. The fourth skill works awesome. It does some nice amount of damage actually when the car uh, rolls around. Even world boss, even in, uh, everywhere actually. But the fifth skill is where we will get the proc. Third skill we can cancel right here. After he throws these, you can cancel third skill. This is where we will be cancelling. Uh, sixth skill you can instant cancel this. And you need to instant cancel actually. You can delay cancel. But I do think instant cancel is the best way to go with. You will get a lot of damage out of this thing and you will not lose a lot of damage either. So, and the fifth skill does the most amount of damage uh, among the normal skills of course and you need to get the proc with uh, if you are using a damage proc you need to get the proc on the fifth skill although it's a bit hard to play with damage proc with this thing not that much but sometimes it does get annoying and uh, you can use the fourth skill later on the line so the rotation will be six cancel three five and get the proc, let it run and then he comes down right here. You can go into the 4th skill right here. Okay. So you, you can go into the 4th skill and then back to the rotation 3 cancel 5. Sometimes the 5th skill actually if you wait and see this thing here. It has some residual damage right here. So this can actually activate your next proc. And that is why sometimes proc is a little bit, a little bit annoying. This uh, judgment proc also activates at times but that is the best. 6 cancel, 3, then 5. Get the proc, get the damage. That will be amazing damage and great score increase. When he comes down, go to the 4th skill and then back to the rotation. 3 cancel, 5, 4 and 3 cancel, 5, 4 usually. And then 6 cancel, 3 cancel, 5 is the normal rotation with the transcend skill for the cards i am uh, this is not my cards uh, <laughs> for the cards we do have uh, a well good amount of attack we do have a 120 percent energy attack on the cards which is not a lot but good enough 22 percent pierce as well as the energy attack proc on this thing as well so let's take a look at how robbie race does in squad battle and he is actually going to be the meta i believe so 
All right, let's take a look at this run. So this is not the best run that I had. Uh, I was able to make a little bit more, about 300k or 200k more on the live stream when I was doing it. Actually, that run was not even uh, even closer to that. So he can probably make 500k more than what I'm showing you right now in this uh, in this clip. Anyways. So it's it's all there, uh, depending on the proc timings and everything, how much damage you do and how much time you spend stalling, looking for those freaking uh, lights, I guess, <laughs> you know, so that's the case. Anyways, uh, the rotation is very simple. You go for the six cancel, three cancel, five mainly, and then go back to the four skill. The four skill is one issue. This proc activation here is the one that, that I'm talking about. The issue is here and that sometimes happen uh, the proc activates and stuff happens, so that's alright. You can't really do anything about it. Gonna go for 3 cancel 5. I will be able to do some damage. I need that. Uh, I need to get that light. I need to also get that light here. And I will be getting these ones. One, two of these. And I think now I can just use the transcend skill. And now I gotta get those two lights more. Two more lights so I can just uh, continue my thing. So it kind of hurts Robbie Reyes as well. Like... Uh, he would have been able to do more damage as I also feel the same that I wish he had a cancelable skill. Uh, he literally only has one cancelable skill that is even a delayed cancel and does not really do that much damage. If 4 skill was cancelable skill, I'm pretty sure that he would literally do insane amount of damage and he would be able to do a lot more score than this. You can see I have to delay and I actually had to delay that transcend skill there. We did lose some points right there and you can see we are around almost touching 9 million here and I was able to make 300k more as I said on the stream and yes I was able to make 9.3 million on the live stream and now uh, this one is going to be around uh, just over 9 million actually. So I can surely push about 400k more score. So it's a good upgrade for him, man. Really good upgrade. So Robbie is, uh, in my opinion, gonna be the meta for this thing. I could not do a Ghost Rider comparison. And there's a big, big thing because, like, why not? The reason is simple. I do not have any CTB on my Ghost Rider. <laughs> First of all. Secondly, Ghost Rider, my Ghost Rider, never touched 9 million on my account he freaking got 9.1 like it was nothing i literally got 9.3 when i was streaming so ghost rider ghost rider <laughs> robbie rays is the new squad battle meta and if you are playing squad battle definitely you can go for it world boss comparison with human torch will be coming in a bit maybe in the next video maybe in the next next video i will be doing a world boss legend comparison and the gameplay with robbie rays cdb of judgment and it's gonna be fun for sure but yeah squad battle definitely worth purchasing for world boss legend he's good enough i would say in prior to the video he's good enough but not needed like it's it's not a must have for world boss legend it's mainly for squad battle at the moment and maybe shadowlands he's gonna be very strong specifically with that uh 60% uh, damage increase now on the 10% chain it. Again, I wish the 4 skill was cancelable. Then he would literally do insane amount of damage. He could have been 2 times as strong as he, as he is right now. But what's done is done. We can't really change the things. Uh, and he's good. He can be proc friendly at times and can be annoying as well. And the judgment is going to be the best case scenario for him in my opinion. Of course, you can go with a type amplification judgment. That might just be the best. A mighty if you are really going to push squad battle as well. So let me know in the comment section what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Robbie Rage. Do you think it's worth purchasing? Squad battle meta for sure. But is it worth purchasing or not for World Boss Legend? I'll let you guys know through a video later down the line. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one.